Welcome to a new Blue Cat Audio uh, Chronicle. Today with Guillaume, we are going to show you a couple of uh, MIDI uh, pedal boards. So Guillaume, how are we doing uh, today? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, let's do a quick uh, reminder of um, what we can do with the pedal board. So now you have the mm, Pacer model from uh, Nectar. So let's do a quick visit and you can watch the full video we did about how to set up a MIDI pedal board uh, on your computer to have even more information. So let's see what we have here. Um, so uh, the idea of, uh, of such a pedal board is to be able to uh, control the software uh, with the, the feet. Yes. Uh, basically, uh, you want to be able to uh, uh, switch the pedals on, on, on and off. So for example, here I have a clean tone and I can uh, engage the distortion. Nice. On and off, uh, I can add some delay. Uh, also some chorus. And uh, you can also uh, switch programs, so that's another type of message that you can send. Mm -hmm. So for example here I'm going to switch uh, the the type of amp, um, so it's a clean one here. I can switch to crunch one. Lead. Very cool. So yeah. with the MIDI pedal board, you can basically switch on and off effects or switch amp uh, or switch uh, full preset. Yeah, full presets. Or here mm -hmm. I'm just switching uh, amp models, but mm -hmm. it could be anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and uh, usually either inside the pedal board or uh, outside, uh, you can uh, have uh, expression pedals. Mm -hmm. So usually that's f for controlling uh, uh, pedals like wah or. Uh, WAMI or whatever other parameter level like here for example it's assigned to the level yes okay like a regular volume pedal exactly yeah. yes mm -hmm. and uh, this one has a switch inside so if i click it's going to arm the uh, wah ins instead mm -hmm. <laughs> Very cool. So you can switch from one function to, to another. Yes. And uh, as you can see, if I move the pedal on the board, it's going to move the virtual pedal as well. Excellent. And one specificity we have with this spacer model is that uh, the um, communication goes both ways. So if you turn on and off uh, an effect on the computer, you we can see it on the, the, on the pedal board. Yes, exactly. So uh, I can do this way, uh, like I showed yeah. before. Uh, but if I click here with the mouse, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to activate and deactivate the effect yes. here too, which is nice. And we mentioned that because it is not always the case in uh, other pedal board we are going to see uh, after that. Yes. All right. So that was a quick uh, reminder of uh, what is a MIDI pedal board. Uh, let's start our visit with this FCB 1010 uh, MIDI foot controller from uh, Behringer. So what can you tell us about this huge uh, machine? So it's quite heavy. Uh, it's an old one. Um, that's the kind of pedal boards that were designed to control uh, initially uh, multi-effect processors uh, in, yeah. the, in the racks. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's pretty basic. Uh, it's mainly for changing programs only. Uh, I think you can do, uh, you can also assign some um, some pedals there, but uh, it's a bit complicated to uh, to configure. There's okay. no software. Yeah, there's a paid one that you can find, but uh, well, so it's a, it's a bit limited. Mm -hmm. The other issue is that uh, you need to plug it into uh, the power. So it's an one additional uh, uh, cord here. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, with many other ones, uh, now the more recent uh, pedal boards, it's, uh, it, the power is going through the USB. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's just one single cable and uh, nothing else. Yeah. So th the great thing here is that you have two, um, two uh, pedals mm -hmm. uh, to assign to different effects. Uh, but globally, uh, well, I think it's, it's pretty heavy, uh, a bit old. So uh, even if it's cheap, I wouldn't recommend that uh, mm. to to, ha to have uh, enough flexibility for software. Okay, but it's big and uh, very uh, robust. So yes. if you need, uh, if you know you are uh, not very delicate with your MIDI pedal board, uh, that can be uh, still a good option. Okay, moving on to one of your favorite uh, MIDI pedal board, the Line Six uh, FBV3, which is the one you usually use uh, when you you gig. Yes, uh, because well, it's pretty compact despite the 
large number of uh, foot, switch yeah. foot switches. Uh, the pedal has two functions built in, so you can control two different effects. There's like you did uh, with the other. Yes, yeah. so there's a switch in there, which mm -hmm. is not always the case. Um, you can assign the, the same uh, kind of messages as I showed uh, before. Mm -hmm. um, the only the only issue here is that uh, when you click on the program changes, it won't uh, show the light uh, for some reason. That's the way it's been programmed by mm -hmm. Lantix. So you have so, uh, built-in software on the Mac or PC to uh, program all the functions. So that's pretty flexible. Uh, yeah, and I, I like it because yes, you have uh, all the functions in there. Uh, it doesn't do the uh, reverse uh, MIDI thing, so yeah, if so you if click we click here, we don't have the update uh, on the pedal. Board. Yes, uh, but that's fine for gigging live. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, usually you won't use the mouse anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, it's pretty fixable. It does what I need, and uh, so the only limitation is regarding the program change. But if I in, uh, engage a drive, then I will have uh, the light on if the drive is on, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right. So that would be the choice of uh, Guillaume, basically, yes. not too expensive, about two hundred euros, something like that. Huh? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So good compromise. Good compromise. Moving on to an even smaller uh, device from uh, Harley Benton. The MP100. So this one is pretty cheap. Uh, it's more modern than the Behringer one. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have uh, any pedal, but you can plug some, some uh, expression pedals there. Mm -hmm. So I had some issues with this particular device. Uh, for some reason, some of my pedals were actually uh, shutting the power down. I don't know why. But uh, once it, it, it worked, it worked. So that's okay. fine. Mm -hmm. And you can assign different messages here too, uh, either program change or uh, uh, control pedal. change uh, to mm -hmm. control pedals. Uh, it's you can program it. It's pretty basic, but you, you can do it on the device itself. And it is a uh, USB powered. Uh, yes, it's yeah. all USB powered, uh, and uh, yeah, pre pretty simple, uh, really cheap. I think it's below uh, 100 euro. Mm -hmm. um, so if you need something basic with uh, not too many functions and uh, you don't have the money for a large pedal board, I think this one is pretty nice. Excellent. And now we're going to move to a super large uh, XXL size. Let's see if I can put it on my lap uh, with just one hand, uh, with just one hand, which I ba barely succeed to do it. So uh, tell us about this monster. So this one is the Mastermind GT. Uh, it, it does everything you want and more. <laughs> uh, the, the nice thing is that you have LCDs for every single foot switch. Yeah. Uh, so you can change the name on there, you can change the color, you can assign it to anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the, the software to program it is very well uh, well done. Um, so the only issue is that it's not USB powered. I mean, you need m much more power than, than USB can provide yeah. for all the lights. Mm -hmm. uh, so very flexible, it's quite expensive. Uh, and uh, but well, if you if you need really uh, a lot of power and a lot of flexibility with, with many effects, and if you want to control both software and maybe hardware together, uh, it's it's really uh, a nice device. Mm. That's uh, often an option we see on big stage when people want to control uh, both software and their Axe FX, uh, Camper, and all that uh, hardware stuff. Yes, mm. and uh, other uh, pedals that support mm. MIDI and that kind of stuff. All right. And now, so this is the biggest uh, one we are going to show you today, but we have a smaller uh, option. So maybe uh, let's go to the soft step. So yes. we went from the very big and now we are back to a very small uh, option. So tell us about this one. So this one is the uh, soft step 2 by uh, Keith McMillan. Um, it's really uh, very small, very light, so you can put it into your backpack and... Uh, very thin. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's very thin. Uh, the other particularity here is that uh, it is... So th you, you can use the buttons uh, just like with the others, uh, but it is also sensitive to touch and to the pressure. Okay. So, uh, for example, um, this one I have programmed it to be able to use... Uh, um, to push, if you push harder, it's going to increase the value that is sent. Okay. And so I, I assign that to uh, the pitch bender effect in Axiom, so that you have uh, just the, s the same behavior as the uh, the Wami bar. bar. Okay. Yes. Mm. So, so that, you don't need. Nice. A, you can plug in a, an actual expression pedal, but you can use the button to work as an expression. Yes. Pedal. So it's not as precise, of course, mm. but uh, for some uh, for some functions, it's really uh, useful. Very cool. Uh, one issue is that the software has not been updated for a while, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure it works on the latest Macs, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, 
Uh, hopefully they will uh, have an update. I don't know, but uh, I mean, given the price of the device, it's a pity that it's not mm. updated. Because uh, it is quite expensive. Yes, it's yeah. more expensive than the, than the FBV. Okay. Uh, and the other issue is that uh, it's flexible. So if you put it on a carpet, for example, uh, it might not take all the mm. the changes. Mm. So you want to put it on, on a, a half floor, floor yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but w otherwise, it, it's very nice to be able to bring it. Uh, uh, it's it's lightweight for uh, for example if you travel uh, by plane uh, mm -hmm. it's it's pretty convenient and right. it, there's no noise either okay. I mean if you click there it's no the, no acoustic yeah. uh, click yeah so if you yeah. record videos for example that's that's pretty cool but it's possible to go even uh, smaller with uh, one last uh, piece of uh, equipment we want to to present you. So yes, that's the ultimate uh, small pedal board. <laughs> so, so small, there is not even a pedal board uh, in there. Uh, yeah, not so even a switch. This device is called MIDI Expression. I yeah. think it's done by an American guy, or maybe Canadian. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, it's a very small company, but it's very well done. There's a nice software to configure it. And the idea is to be able to connect many uh, devices, such as foot switches or expression pedals, yeah. or even some other MIDI devices. Mm -hmm. And everything is going to go through the USB. Mm -hmm. So typically, I, might, uh, I can connect uh, this kind of uh, small foot switches yeah I connect into the jack here mm -hmm. and then I got the two foot switches sending messages so you can basically build your own pedal board mm. just like with mm. pedals uh, so I can have uh, I don't know clean crunch and reverb and be done with it and control my uh, software exactly mm. and you can also plug some uh, expression pedals like this. Mm -hmm. like this one for example you just connect with the jack in the same way and uh, you put it next to the uh, to the foot switch and you have your pedal board. Mm. So, so super compact, super lightweight and you just need to, to plug this end on your computer through USB and your basically uh, foot, uh, foot switch and foot and pedal ex expression pedal uh, on the other side. Yeah, so if you don't need that many options uh, and just a few uh, activations and uh, a few uh, sw switches mm. and pedals, that's really, really nice to have. Uh, you can also eat, uh, use it uh, in combination with a larger pedal board. Oh if yeah. you want to add some more switches, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you can actually uh, have some switches with lights in there. Uh, it won't uh, update mm -hmm. the light, mm -hmm. but uh, well, it's it's pretty uh, pretty convenient. All right, Excellent. and lightweight, and lightweight, which is very important. Uh, all right, so the choice you would recommend for your everyday use would be the Line 6 FBV3. Uh, that would be your main option. And we can see that uh, Guillaume put some uh, written uh, label on it, so it's even uh, easier to use alive. That would be your choice. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's really, uh, I mean, f for my usage, that's mm -hmm. that's the, the best one. But uh, there are many others uh, out there that you want to, uh, to check. Um, so uh, as we've seen, there are many options, mm -hmm. all different, all yeah. with pros and cons. Mm -hmm. So I think the best uh, thing to do is to try them and uh, and see uh, what works best for you and, and define what you want to control, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Excellent. Hopefully we helped you a little bit uh, with that. Thank you very much, Guillaume. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.